Kamala has some explaining to do after weeks of ghosting the public with her policies. Veep Harris is finally going to sit down for a pre-taped chat with CNN tomorrow. But she ain't going solo. No siree dragging Tim Walls along for the ride. And he can't go a walls on this one. Kamala's going to have to face the music on a growing list of her flip-flops. Despite co-sponsoring a bill that would require all new car sales to be EVs or zero emissions by 2040, Team Kamala now says it's a, quote, lie that Harris backs EV mandates. And it's not just electric cars. The word salad spewer has a buffet of 180s she made on the border wall, fracking, and your private health care. Roll it, Sven. Well, by my plan, by 2045, we will have um, basically zero emission vehicles only, 100 percent. By the way, that wall will never get built. There's no question I'm in favor of banning fracking. You support uh, the Medicare for All bill. I believe it will totally eliminate private insurance. Um, so for people out there who like their insurance, well, they don't get to keep it. Let's eliminate all of that. Let's move on. Mm, and the Democrats' elder cue ball James Carville is worried Harris went too far to the left in 2019 and will have a hard time walking it back. Ineffective answer for 2019, which was a disaster, which is not good. I never really moved to the left in the primaries. And she needs overarching answers to place all that in context. I think she will have one. But that, that's the number one thing that worries me. Mm, this is the problem, Jessica, isn't it? You know, perhaps if you're a Democrat, why not just be the same person all the time? You know, why adopt a different persona before an election, which is supposed to be centrist, and then when you get in, all of a sudden you go radical left? Why be two people? It's like having a secret family, Jessica, that you hide from other people. I really can't believe people get away with that. Yeah. I know, well, Jesse. I feel like they don't anymore. I mean, it, it, <laughs> don't say that about Jesse. <laughs> Pick anyone else at the table. Uh, <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, Stay with Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> so this is pretty standard fare that someone who has run before had policies that they don't necessarily implement while they're in office, and the closest proxy for what Kamala Harris would be is who Kamala Harris was as VP and part of the Biden-Harris ticket. And I understand that that is a problem for some people, but I, you cannot run from that. You can run from a position you took in 2019. And we've discussed this before. You know, I, I think that she could do very well to roll the clips, right? Show me what I said, and I'll explain to you about mm. how different it is once you're actually governing and that you can't get things like that passed. Something like a Medicare for all, for instance, a lot of people wish that we could have great public health care and that you didn't need a private health insurance, but they wouldn't go and say you should eliminate a private health insurance. And that's how Only President Biden... Only a communist Biden... would say that. Uh, that's not true. It All over true. Europe, they're not communists. We'll be right so they back. Have... Okay. <laughs> um, but... All over Europe, wealthy people get private health insurance because the other system sucks. But they're not... But the people who advocate for public health insurance are not communists. And a lot of people do... Mm. When I was there, I used the NHS... Are they, though? I lived in London, and yep. it was terrible. I got my own private doctor. Same. He actually moved in with me. <laughs> That's a beautiful story. <laughs> um, but the, I think that people are going to have a lot of trouble pinning her down as just a massive flip-flopper looking at... Pinning her down, Pinning her Jessica, down, come Jessica. On, come on. I think you need to make a correction yes, right now. Yes, <laughs> Jessica, come on. <laughs> pinning her down, really? I can't today. Um, whatever. <laughs> When you are competing against Trump, who has a long record oh. of doing, oh, here, I'm for a national abortion ban. Her. I'm not talk about well, her. But I'm talking about the race that she's participating in, and mm. she's running against someone who wants to ban TikTok, then doesn't want to. I'm for a national abortion ban. No, mm. now I'm not. I'm for visas for highly skilled migrants. Now I'm not. Those are the standards by which she's going to be judged, which I think will be a help for her if she is coming back from taking positions that are not that popular. All right, well, fair enough, fair enough. You know, Thank Dana, you. Mm -hmm. it seems like, uh, uh, so Waltz is going to be accompanying Kamala. It's kind of like bring your weird uncle to work day. Mm -hmm. You know, who said that these, these interviews could be a plus one? I mean, how great is that? If I ever run for president, I'm definitely taking you with me. Yeah. It would be, it would be for, for the comic relief. You'll help me out there. Um, I, I don't think this is that big a deal, except that, yes, most uh, tickets have appeared together, but only after the candidate has 
gone through a primary, done a bunch of interviews. So right. We've gone 40 days without ever learning anything. Mm -hmm. And a, a, lot, a lot of the things that Jessica mentioned, Trump has actually had to answer questions as to why did he change his mind. Mm -hmm. And she hasn't had to do that. And the other thing that's happened in the last 40 days is with anonymous campaign aides putting out little pieces of information like, oh, she's no longer for electric vehicle mandates. Oh, she's no longer for fracking. Oh, no more Medicare for all. So I'm thinking, why have they done that? Mm -hmm. So they've spent 40 days allowing her to be called a flip-flopper. Instead, she could have just made that news tonight in her first interview. Mm -hmm. And then she could have explained because she needs to find a way to make news tonight or tomorrow night when that interview takes place or the news will be made for her. Mm. I just want to make a note to the mm. viewers that when we say flip-flop, we don't mean it literally. She's not on her back and flipping to her <laughs> stomach. So we want to make sure that you understand it's an analogy. It means changing your mind repeatedly. Judge, uh, it seems that Kamala does have a dual personality that she that can only exist if the media just keeps their hands off her. And, and that's why they picked the friendlies at the CNN uh, bureau. Well, you know, when you think about it, here's a woman who is trying to break the ultimate glass ceiling. Mm -hmm. All right. This it would be the first female president in the history of this country. And she needs to drag along the coach <laughs> so that she can survive this interview. Why? Because she'll probably spend about half the time answering the questions. Because once she starts with a word salad, he's going to be able to jump in and save her. And, it, you know, the Wall Street Journal today talked about, I mean, it was a deliberate attempt, quote, to limit her potential exposure risk for, uh, uh, for her and limit her answers, and it'll be harder to do a follow-up. So they are wringing their hands for the past, what, 30 days. Who's going to do the interview? Who do they pick? CNN and Dana Bash. Now, Dana Bash is the one. I mean, everybody was happy with the, the debate. But a debate, a debate is different from an interview. Mm -hmm. An interview requires a follow-up question. Yes. And that, that is the difference. And the truth is that Kamala uh, lacks confidence. But Dana Bash is the individual who said to J.D. Vance, she was not the border czar. She was there only to find out what the root causes of immigration are. Mm -hmm. You know, she's right in there going in to make sure that you follow what her political ideology is. And we've watched the woman for three and a half years. She is a word salad mess. The only time she makes sense is when she reads a teleprompter. And if reading a teleprompter is all you need to be president, then I need to be president, too. Mm -hmm. I mean, and so can any third grader. So in the end, you've got, you've got a woman who doesn't have the confidence, and I can't imagine her meeting with Xi Jinping or Putin. She's going to drag the coach along, too? <laughs> that would be fun. You know, Jesse, I think James Carville, your good friend. I wish. Yeah. He never does my show. I know. Well, he hates you. I think that's clear. <laughs> he told me to stick a tampon up my nose. I know. Oh. Wouldn't be the first Ow. time. <laughs> you know, uh, but he does kind of hint at this unspeakable truth that you can only be a leftist when no one's paying attention. Uh, but when people start paying attention, then you got to lie. And that's what's happening with happening, <laughs> happening with Kamala. She's probably going to show up to the debate with a bandage on her ear. <laughs> She's going full ultra MAGA at this point. And to Jessica's point, Trump changed his position on national abortion ban because of the Roe v. Wade decision. It was a pretty big decision that that mm -hmm. had to create. You also changed your position on TikTok. These are small things. She's changed Every single position yeah. she's ever had. You said she has problems in 2019. She has problems for the last four years, and she has problems now. Because this last week, she got cooked. This was a huge vacuum where she yep. took the week off to prepare for a CNN interview mm -hmm. or a debate or whatever the hell she was doing for the last week. And the media got annihilated by Republicans because the media is trying to defend her record. And even they can't defend her record because they don't know what her record is. Kamala doesn't know what her record is. The Kamala campaign doesn't know what her record is. They won't send walls out to do interviews because he doesn't know what her positions are. So this was a terrible week. She got no bounce out of the convention. That's not true. She's no she bounce. She got a four-point bounce. And no she's bounce. in Georgia today campaigning. Okay, she got no bounce, oh, Jessica. No bounce. Look at the polls. Okay. And she's now down polls. in all the battleground That's states. That's not true. Real clear. Check it out. Okay. Right now, in the break, I'll prove you wrong. Okay. And she's down in the betting markings. You can check that in the break, too. 39 days to decide whether you want to do a CNN interview. It took her 39 days. Yeah. That's insane. They're probably doing mock interviews. Remember how she had to go to that dinner party in D.C.? They held a mock dinner party. Mm. They had to prepare well, to go to a dinner party. What if you the wrong party. fork? 
I don't think then that's what they were preparing for, okay? This woman, since the RFK Jr. endorsement, has lost every news cycle of every day for the last week. Everybody <laughs> knows she has no clue what her identity was, what her positions are. And if you have to have people come out in writing and change your positions, you haven't seen actual surrogates from Kamala Harris go on TV and explain this. You know why? Because they can't. And these are professional spinsters. Mm -hmm. And even they can't defend the flip-flop. Have you checked in with any conservatives about the RFK endorsement and the impact of Tulsi Gabbard being on the campaign? Because I don't think it's good for your side. You well, don't think having RFK what? endorse is what? good? Okay. Yeah, because okay. it makes Donald Trump a completely unserious conservative candidate. Unserious? So She's unserious. the most unserious. She laughed for three and a half years. I okay. hate using that word about Donald Trump. We'll take RFK Jr., okay? You we'll take him and the We'll take him and his votes. food, better health for the American people. The I mean, no one has talked about that. All right, all right. I just want to make some clarifications. When Jesse said that Kamala is changing positions, he meant political positions. <laughs> also, when he claimed that Kamala got cooked, he didn't mean literally. Right. So you meant just on... Um, not cannibalized. Yeah, not yeah, cannibalized, not right? That, and when you mentioned spinsters, you were talking about political spin. And not the women. Not the women. Right. Okay, the so I just want to make that ladies. clear. <laughs> Thank You're you, out Greg. There. I don't want anything misconstrued. Yeah. All right, Greg's going to come with me to all my interviews now, yes. too. Click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You won't get it anywhere else.